Daytona Sensor, offering versatile tuning aids and diagnostic tools for all carbureted and fuel-injected engines. Today we're going to show you how to install the Daytona Sensor's wideband WIGO 4 air fuel ratio monitor. So the first thing we're going to do is take the control box the, the, and display, which is all one unit, and determine where we want to put it inside the vehicle. For this application, we're going to put it right here under the dash, a nice flat surface already there with some, with, that has some holes already drilled in it. And to mount it, we're going to take a little small piece of material that we got from the hardware store, put some bins in it, a little bit of uh, padding, put it right on the control box, and we're good to go there. Other installation options are double-sided tape or hook and loop material that will mount it directly to the bottom of the dash. Using a hole saw, drill through the vehicle's firewall. Insert a grommet to protect the wiring and feed the wires through. For this step, we're going to, to install the wiring to the control unit. To do that, we're going to loosen our bracket up just a little bit, and we'll pull our wiring harness down that we routed through the firewall earlier. For our wiring, we have a switch 12 volts. This should be to a good uh, battery voltage source that is on only when the key is turned on. Battery ground. This should go as close or directly to the battery as you can get it. And then we have the five wires for the sensor harness. Now on the back of the controller, it gives you all the information that you need for the wiring information. And then it will tell you where the battery power ground goes and the switch 12 volts. So to get started, we'll just start stripping the wire back and connecting to the controller. to connect the ground wire of the display up to the battery and as we mentioned we want to get it as close to or directly to the battery negative post if we can. So we've routed our wire from the display with a ring terminal. Put that on. Now we'll tighten that down and be ready to go. Okay, we're ready to connect the sensor to the harness for the free air calibration. Before this step, you want to be sure and take the plastic protective cover off. The sensor will get hot and will melt if you do not. It has anti-seize around the thread, so be sure and don't wipe that off as well. So we'll just take the sensor, reach in to get the harness from the display unit, plug those together, and we'll just let the sensor hang here in the open. Be sure it's not touching anything because it will get hot, and that's the step for the free air calibration. For the next step, we'll do the free air calibration for the O2 sensor. Following instructions, we'll take a small screwdriver, we'll insert into the face of the display unit here into the calibration adjustment, and we'll go full counterclockwise until it just stops. After you've adjusted the sensor calibration potentiometer on the front of the display unit, the next step will be to turn the ignition switch on. When the display first turns on, you'll see the CL display, and then it'll go into a numeric value, wait for about two minutes, and then you'll slowly turn the adjuster clockwise until you see the display turn from 19.5 to the FA, which is a free air calibration. Now we're ready to put the O2 sensor in the exhaust pipe. We've previously taken the truck to a local muffler shop and had the O2 fitting put in. We call this the O2 sensor bung. Once we get under the truck, we'll remove the plastic cap and then make sure that the anti-seize compound is still on the threads. The Daytona Sensors line of Ego air fuel ratio meters will allow you to monitor your engine's air fuel ratios from idle to full throttle power. Be it fuel injected or carbureted, the Wego air fuel ratio monitor gives you the information you need to optimize your engine's power and fuel economy. So whether your ride is the family taxi, work truck, street performer, or motorcycle, get the optimal performance from your engine.